Hello, 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 League of Piggers. We've been away for a while, haven't we? But we are back now and we are better than ever. And the first thing that's changed is that Piggy Smalls has been chosen to represent the pigs in all matters of ceremony. And his first role is to honor the great Patreons of this league. So without further ado, let us explicitly thank the race team principals. Your support has been frankly massive. And talking about substantial support, thank you so much to the chief engineers and the race team members as well. And finally, we would be remiss not to mention the oh so important race marshals. Without your support, none of this would be possible as well. And with that, let us head over to the first race of this most historic season. The first race of the season begins. It's a slow start for all of them. What's happening? Ginger, Bear, come on, let's go girls. And they're distracted by something in the distance, but we can't see what it is. Pepper's taking advantage, so is Piggy Smalls. And there's a curve in the track, and now it makes sense, but it's Piggy Smalls that capitalizes on the confusion there. It's been less than 20 seconds into the season, and Bear's already managed to annoy me by walking over the line. But it's the first change of direction in the track that the pigs have ever seen, and that is how they responded to it. We interrupt this round of racing to give you our first ever sponsor, and that is ourselves, of course. You don't need to do anything this advert tells you to. You're not a sheep, you're a pig racing fan. But what you absolutely must do is get those hips rolling, that head bobbing. Get into it, baby. Okay, hit it. Down the door goes, and Pepper's got in the way of both Hoshi and Ginger, so it's the three pig races. They head down this track towards the corner. Piggy Small's in the worst position currently, but he's starting to squeeze the others out, and Pepper's dropped off because of it. And it looks like he might have taken it, but did Bear pip him to the post? Yes, she did, and Bear's been a totally different pig this race. In fairness, they all have. They've already got used to this bend, and it hasn't slowed him down too much, but I think they're starting to learn the importance of positioning around that corner. One pig that hasn't had much attention recently is our resident Japanese pig, the big man from Japan himself. And so we thought it would only be fair if we did a little tribute to the chonkiest, funniest, jolliest pig in the league, Hoshioinki. Race three commences. Piggy Smalls has been handicapped. I do think that was an accident. It wasn't scheduled as they go over a five inch hurdle. Now an eight inch hurdle. Clearly the track is different here. Now a 10 inch hurdle and Nick Ginger is finding it the easiest now as he jumps way too early on that hedge and still manages to make it. Even the cameraman freaks out. Piggy Smalls is accidentally handicapped but that's all been overshadowed by an historic leap by Ginger Hamilton who jumps way too early and should never have made that at all. So much happened in that race, not least Four different hurdle types on a bent track. So what you are witnessing here is the pigs seeing cows for the first time in their life. And a few moments ago, they were absolutely fascinated with them until we switched the camera on. And now they are less fascinated with them. But one pig is still a little fixated, and that is Pepper Sanchez from Mexico. Maybe it's because she's got very similar markings to a Frisian cow that she feels some camaraderie with them. She certainly feels emboldened to trespass on private property. Either way, though, we still need to scoop that little pig up for the next race. 
The pin's pulled. Gore takes a while, but Bear comes springing out of it, and she's already got a great start, but she slipped up on that first hurdle there, and that's let the other two in. Piggy Smalls has nailed that 10-inch hurdle, actually, and that means she's in a great position and gets the record on this course. The American nailed every single hurdle there. He didn't get the best start, but he more than made up for it, and he more than made up for that handicapping in the last race. Well, Piggy Smalls is looking just as strong as he did in Season 7, but if I was to pick fault with the big pig, it would be that he's starting on the wrong side of the box, and that means he's got a much greater distance to travel when they go around that corner. But he is a master at using his size and weight to cut across pigs, and it's putting him in a prime position for that hedge hurdle, which he is definitely capitalising on. The race gets underway. Pepper Sanchez has a good start. Bear doesn't have a bad one either, but Pepper's the one who's extending out now. No one else is challenging her right now except for Ginger, who's attacking on the inside as they go around this corner. Will she do the Mexican in? No, she does not. And Mexico get their first win of season eight. Piggy Smalls loses fourth by the smallest of margins to Hoshi, but it's Salsa and Tacos here for the after party. You've missed the entrance to Piggy Heaven, Pepper. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. That's it. Now just keep on going. Now you want to go left. Go left, left, there we go, that's it. That's it, no need to check the fence, just keep on running down. That fence won't stop until you get to the gate. Keep on going. Okay, I feel like this might get a bit tiring for the viewers. So while Pepper tries to find the entrance to Biggie Heaven, we should probably head over to race six. The pig's set off and it's Bear who's got the best start. Ginger starts to push past Pepper. Piggy Smalls has also made his presence known. But Ginger's got the racing line and she does a good job of that 10-inch herd as well. I think this race is all going to be hers. It is. She finishes it off and she reminds everyone that she's still very much in this competition. Piggy Smalls also did well in that race. Still taking the outside line but so quick that it doesn't matter to him right now. Well, Bear has done pretty well so far. And I kind of hesitate to say that because she wasn't great last season. And she's got a history about not really being bothered about winning. But if there's a season to care about, it's this season, Bear. Please, no more walking. OK? The final race begins. Bear slips on the box and that allows Piggy Smalls to inch forward. Ginger's also looking a threat. So the three of them are pretty much level as they go to this corner. But now Piggy Smalls and Ginger trying to squeeze out Bear. But Bear's having none of it. And someone set a record there. It's Bear Trotsky that did. Bear shows she's not going to be pushed around by Piggy Smalls or Ginger, and it's a fantastic omen for all Bear fans out there. What a great round of racing. Well, it's the first time ever we've had a joint lead at the end of a round. Piggy Smalls and Bear make history as they both score 45 points apiece. We'll break that down much further in the next episode. But all that's left to do right now is to say thank you, League of Piggers, for watching and supporting, and bye for now.